First of all, thank God for everything that I have and mostly for the happy and positive person I am. Life can be tough sometimes and it will be, but only if you choose to. My name is Dayan and in the next couple of minutes, I want to share with you an unfiltered and honest version of my story, how I became the gym probe guy with the largest following base in the internet. You will probably be wondering why you want to hear my stupid story. Well, I have two things in mind. Number one, inspire people who are in the same position as I was. And number two, I want the online evidence as a statement for myself when I look back in three years from now on. After gaining more than 6 million followers and getting tons of messages how I change people's life, I finally felt the impact I'm having. I feel honored and privileged to be in a position where I can show people different possibilities to live in abundance. It is time to give something back to those who support me each and every day. Experiencing support was something I was missing in the challenging time I grew up, at least for the dreams I had. My dreams was to be successful by doing whatever I want with whoever I want and whenever I want. Life in Bulgaria, especially in the neighborhood I grew up, is the challenging life I was speaking about. I was born in a working class family where my parents got divorced when I was a kid. With a single mom working day and night to raise me and my brother, the dream to escape reality and people with bad habits. Good decisions were rare. The reason why I liked going to school was because of the same escape we were talking about. As a kid or a teenager, you need someone who pushes you further instead of holding you back. The only thing I knew was I wanted to do something with sports. The question I always ask myself, how can I break out of this cage? I was ready to do everything to get out of my environment. I worked hard and sometimes in unethical ways to earn enough of money so I could leave as soon as I got 18. And that's what I did. Thanks to a friend, I got a chance to come to Germany. A country where you have more opportunities to do something out of your life. In Bulgaria, it's hard to earn a living at a young age. Even though I was always my own hero, I've always had the story of my uncle in my mind when he left to Russia completely on his own. A few years later, he came back as a main man and started his own company. It was so exciting for me to start a new life in a new country where no one knew who I was. In that time, my girlfriend left to the UK where she started her studies and I. My first job, believe it or not, was as a dishwasher at a restaurant near Dusseldorf, Germany. Three months before I moved out from Bulgaria, I was living a dream life as 18 years old, which wouldn't last longer if I continued. It shattered my reality when I was cleaning the dirty plates of other people and the only thing I could think about was how can I learn this fucking language so I can climb the ladder. After three months, my Germans was actually good enough to start as a waiter, which was way better because I finally had something to do with other people. The only annoying thing was I was hired by a temporary staffing agency and I was working at a different venues almost every day. Even though I started loving the game, I knew there is way more to come and I need a safe and organized job where I can save up cash to pay for my own education. My plan was it, to start at a private university to get a degree in hotel management where I have more options and still work with people. At that point, I still had no idea where life would bring me. That's why my employer sent me to Dierhagen, a place in the east sea of Germany near Rostock where I started as a barkeeper in a hotel. One thing I'm truly proud of myself is, if I want something, I'm gonna get it, no matter what. As well, in this case, it took me a few months of work and focus to be accepted at the university, but then I couldn't focus enough on my studies. After failing one of my three main exams in one year, my doubts started to increase. Do I really need this degree to get my desired position in an industry where I wasn't even pursuing with the depth of my heart? Instead of mingling around my problems, I was forced to find a solution because no one else would have done it. There was that striking conversation I will never forget with my old manager at the hotel at the AC. He knew I was a hard worker, always disciplined, honest and reliable. So that he got me an internship at the number one hotel in Switzerland. Yes, probably one of the most fancy and luxurious hotels in the world. And the deal was, after I finished my internship of seven months, I could come back to Dierhagen, the hotel or the AC, and get the position as an F&B manager, which usually takes a lot of education. By the time I could have been an F&B manager at five-star hotel while being 21 years old. That was my plan, but after working at this fancy hotel in Switzerland, I had a chance to speak to a lot of self-made and extremely successful people. I asked as much as I could to learn and find out what I needed to know to be as successful as them in the future. Being in the hotel industry was never the goal, but for sure a great vehicle to develop certain soft and hard skills. I will be forever grateful and will always carry a lot of respect for people trying to give you a great experience. Anyway, 
Through the conversations with these numerous people who could easily spend thousands of dollars per night, but even better, to do whatever they like, I found out that most of them are entrepreneurs. I started researching and learning again from scratch. My first step as an entrepreneur started as a reseller and got me kind of into trading, but sooner than later, I found out this thing isn't for me and there isn't a get rich fast scheme. Everything changed for me when I saw a video of Floyd Mayweather jumping rope. And from there on, I knew what my mission is. During my six months in Bulgaria, where I moved in with my girlfriend, I started jumping every day for at least two hours, every damn day. I knew that's it, what I would do, and I won't stop until I have my breakthrough. The feeling was real. Starting a successful business, it's good to have some spare cash on the side, and thanks to my time in Switzerland, I had the chance to go back, this time in Zurich, where I worked as a waiter again, to save up every cent I got. I had a whiteboard inside my 13 square meters apartment where I rolled down to never give up on this goal. I got better and better while training in the dark parking garage at my employee accommodation and things were heating up till June 2021. Used to be one of the hardest times in my life where the doctors told me to stop jumping. I couldn't believe it and as dumb as I am, I strongly believed in a solution. I think that you guys understand the struggle and see that each and every challenge is a test at the end of the day. I knew whatever brought me here from Bulgaria will help me find a way again. Meanwhile, I gained a bit of traction on social media and I remember hitting my first 20k followers. The way I had to walk was clear for me and I needed to remove every distraction. I knew everything what I had to work on and I made a decision to end the relationship I was in just because I wanted to be completely concentrated on my goal. I would never advise anybody to do what I did it was just a long distance relationship and it takes a lot of time to keep it healthy. In addition to this, I put all my money into my new product, the Swiss Keep Ropes. There was truly no way back. That's where the crazy time started. Between working full time, creating content and training, everything changed again. People have a hard time to believe what can happen in a single year of hard work. My first month, I had an astonishing amount of one sale. I still remember it. Thank you, Alex. Which kind of made me proud, but I knew the way would be steep and rocky. All in, the next few months, I started new formats and added tutorials into my content strategy and my growth started to accelerate. Almost a year later, I hit my first 100,000 followers. And the next year, my account grew to 600,000. I was obsessed in making the best possible jumping roll content out there. I doubled down on the things which were working and I was riding an insane wave. December 2023, it happened. 1 million followers on Instagram and 1 million on TikTok. And an astonishing amount of sales. I was free, I was living through the earnings of something I truly loved doing, jumping my rope and inspiring other people. In March 2024, I reached a stunning amount of 6 million followers across all platforms with several viral videos. My best videos has over 7 million views only on Instagram. I am grateful for all those hardworking nights, editing my videos and researching for formats. I am grateful for my experience at the hotel industry where I listen to all those amazing success stories. Rule number one is to never give up and rule number two is to never forget rule number one. Chase your deepest desires and chase your dreams, otherwise the dreams will chase you. Nowadays literally anyone can earn a living through social media, even me, a kid from Bulgaria without any degree or any language skills in the beginning. Was it easy? Hell no. But staying in my small village, living the life of my parents would not have been easy as well. What I want to give you. It's not a promise or any motivational talk you heard it 20 times before. I want to give you a realistic roadmap to gain attention and to transfer it into money in your bank account. It all starts with a plan, a bit of creativity and a good portion of confidence. Everything you need is rule number one.